Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Craft Designs. Today, I've got a quick, um, well, I say quick, however long it is, a, um, one of the Dollar Tree coffins that is just the right size for the mummy that I'm going to alter. So, I've got one of the IOD Prima molds, and then I've got another one that was an IOD Prima mold that was um, discontinued or out of stock or however you want to say it. But anyway, this is just a cheap a China knockoff. But at least I found it, so I had to look long and hard. So I've poured this one right here and this one right here. That one and then this one. Okay, um, poured two and a half of these and two and a half of these. I'll try to remember to put the links down below. Um, I believe scrapbook.com may have this one. But this one, the only place I could find it was on Amazon. So, like I said, I'll try to remember to put the links down below. Okay, so I have cut them to fit the coffin. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay, so let's get started and I'll glue these all together and then we'll go from there all right okay I've got some of the 3d matte gel which I'm just gonna put on the back I'm using the 3d matte gel because it's thick enough to hold in place without it slumping too much. Okay, let's see. This is called an egg and dart pattern. These being the eggs, these being the dart. So I'm going to put it with the double row of trim towards the top. And I'm going to leave it just a little bit proud of the bottom. Something like that. Okay, I'll just continue on around the box. Now there will be a little bit of a gap in between. But not too much. Okay, so I'll probably let this set just a few minutes. Possibly I'll go ahead with the top.
Yeah, that's good, huh? Now, on the top edge, it's actually just the right width. So I'll make sure it's flush with the top. And this matte gel gets really sticky really quick. Just take a little bit of finagle in there. Okay, a little something like that. Alright, now we'll just let that set for a few minutes and uh, tack up a little bit. It'll just be easier um, when we're handling it, if it doesn't want to move around quite so much. Okay. There's what we have so far. This is just a piece of um, silver Primo that I've rolled out. I think it's on a four. And this is the Cool Tools Hieroglyphics, I believe it's called, stamp. Just got my acrylic roller. pressure As you can see, the size is not perfect, but we'll make it that way. Looks 
like maybe about to there we'll get some good coverage beyond that I'm gonna have to re-roll it out and stamp it again okay but first of all Sorry, I should have said this at the beginning, but the really the color of the clay is irrelevant because I'm going to paint it all black. off the edges it was a little hit and miss but it still worked what I did was just placed it along the I want it to cover over the edges of that resin trim. fill in just a little bit of the cracks where the resin had to be trimmed and then I'll be back everybody just one of the face molds with a little bit of polymer clay stuck across the top for her hair um, I'm gonna alter that a little bit then I just flattened out a, a roll and stuck a couple of snakes of clay across the top. Again, which I'm going to alter a bit. So I've just got my needle tool. Again, I'm going to just add a little bit of detail 
like some wrappings or something. Now, I'm very aware that it would have some hieroglyphics or something, but since the whole top of the sarcophagus has the hieroglyphics on it, I just decided to uh, forego that a little bit. Something like that. And then just continue on with the arms. Okay, that's starting to look a little better already. Alright, here's what we're gonna go with. I just added a little headband and a couple of little stylized vulture and serpent. Um, I realize the body is not exactly proportionate, but again, that's irrelevant. Okay, so I'm just gonna bake this. Um, 270 for an hour, and then I'll be back. Get rid of that front door. That security door. Okay, now I'm going to paint it with some black gesso. Just going to give it an all-over coat. Okay, I've got a pretty scruffy brush that I usually use for painting things with black gesso and it will probably take a couple of coats it's unfortunate but it probably will you could probably do it with one coat but you would obliterate a lot of the detail So, what I'm going to do is, I'll paint it one coat, and I'll kind of drag the paint away, just to make sure I'm not covering that detail. Okay, since I'm sure you've all seen painting with black gesso before I'm gonna skip on ahead okay now I'm gonna dry brush some of the deco art metallics Emperor's gold and I chose this one because it's a darker um, gold so I'll still have the um, I'll still have the opportunity to do some highlights if I want ok 
Okay, so I'm just going to draw a brush. And I've got a very stiff, um, sort of a scruffy brush. <clears throat> and I chose this brush because it won't hold a lot of paint. Do fill in too much of the detail it'll be alright because we can go back with the black wash okay you can see here that the detail in the background has pretty much been covered up but like I said we'll go back with the black wash and take care of that. Okay. Now, dry brushing really has more to do with the angle that you hold the paintbrush. And I'm not very good at keeping my brush at the angle. did the top now we'll just continue on with the sides they will be a bit more difficult because of the rougher because of the rougher texture So I'll continue on and I'll be back when it's done. Now I'm going to do a black wash of the DecoArt Americana Lamp Black. So just a drop. Then four or five squirts of water. just a stiff as heck but still a soft brush and all I'm gonna go over is the top area to try to bring out a little bit of that detail back out
than just a quick wipe. Just go back with a tiny bit of gold. Okay, now I've got some of the Finnabar wax in the old silver. I put a little bit of the um, Opal Magic wax. Okay, just a touch to give it a little differentiation between that and the sarcophagus itself. Um, I used a little bit of the uh -huh, <laughs> the blue violet and a little bit of the I'm not sure what it's called <laughs> the mystic turquoise. A little bit on her hair and just a little bit on the sarcophagus okay after that dries a bit I can buff okay the opal magic that I used is actually called the turquoise satin this is the mystic turquoise and I've got the fire ruby Okay, you can see the, uh, the, all of these antique brilliants have a brown base that the, uh, uh huh, the other coloration is added to, so it gives it an antique, um, sort of look. Uh, 
thing. Now down here I really just want to catch the tips of those little peaks. Just a bit. And when rubbing with the wax, I do want to go in both directions. Just adds to the coverage a little bit. Now you could also do this with um, a dry brush and your acrylic paint. Just want to add a touch. To those egg detail. Here it is. All finished. I put a little bit of the uh, creepy cloth in the bottom just to hold him up a bit. Okay. Him or her, whichever. <laughs> Next week's will probably be um, the chunky charm that I'm going to add to the top. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll leave the links to my social media listed below. Um, my Etsy shop, my Amazon shop, uh, my address is listed below as well, my email address. You name it, it's below. Um, 
please like, share, and subscribe. Click the uh, subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to receive notifications. Bye for now.